Hello everybody, welcome back to the KB Weather Weather Center here. Uh, doing a quick weather update here for your severe weather here. Uh, if I can go ahead and pull up our sources today. Uh, current time is 827 as of this recording. Um, there is our source, so now we can go ahead and uh, tell it to fade in. There we go. Uh, today's risk kind of changed. As you can see, we do have more of an enhanced risk down here in the Texas area. Uh, the severity range did <laughs> increase widely. Um, I'll put a I'll put a link at the end of the video for the um, other video where we uh, went over this uh, convective outlook yesterday here. Um, it does appear that we do not have any new chats from the National Weather Service. <laughs> uh, my phone turned on and then I locked it and then I didn't realize that I locked it. <laughs> but um, we actually do have another tail here uh, of marginal here going into the northern and central parts of Nebraska. That is a marginal risk. We are going to be watching that uh, throughout tonight. Uh, shouldn't be that big of an issue. We do not have any tornado threat with this. All the tornado threat is down here, and the max tornado threat that we have is a 5%. So I would not uh, rule out maybe a tornado or two in the 5%, uh, 2%, not going to see that at all. Uh, we do have a 5% chance of seeing wind, like straight line wind damages up there. We do have that 5% hail threat as well. So threat's not that bad for today, for tonight. Friday, if we go ahead and check out Friday's uh, severe weather outlook here. Oh, I did not want to switch to the, the webcam. But uh, Friday's risk, mm, kind of centralized, kind of towards the the west, the west, the southwest, and in parts of the panhandle, we do have an, a marginal risk, maybe, in a, maybe even a little bit of a slight risk, just in these few counties. Um, Keith, some of those down there, uh, but again, just expecting normal thunderstorms for today and tomorrow in the Lincoln area. Tornado threat mostly down here uh, in Arkansas, uh, five percent. So we can see could not uh, rule out a chance of a isolated tornado down there. Um, wind and hail, uh, fifteen percent in the uh, yellow, and then uh, yeah, just. 5% still there, and then uh, hail. We are going to see that 5% in the Nebraska area, but the rest of the areas, especially this 15%, are probably going to see a greater uh, probability of seeing uh, that hail. Um, and then uh, for your Saturday outlook, uh, we are not going to be able to look this far into the future uh, as uh, tornado threat, wind threat, and uh, hail threats, but uh, we are going to expect a slight risk covering those same areas that we saw uh, on the previous one, except it's more it's, uh, in a larger area, central, and just a bit of the northern half there, and just a bit of the, just a sliver of the panhandle there is going to see a marginal as well, and then we can see normal thunderstorms in the east as well. Um, but uh, as the probabilistic goes, it looks like the 15% is actually going to be right where that slight risk is so um, we could possibly see a five percent chance of tornadoes in that area maybe even a fifteen uh... something like that uh... i'm not too sure it could even be just just a two percent but we'll have to see um, but uh... yeah and we can uh... if we go to our uh... let's see if i can pull it up here All right, so you can even see here it's not it's not going to be full screen because then I, I also need to see uh, the other displays. But uh, from the uh, National Weather Service website, we actually do have the WRN outlook, and this is just the basic weather outlook here. Uh, you can uh, probably well here. How about we do this? We'll make it just like that so you can see the the good old Mr. Key down there. Uh, so, rain and thunderstorms, mixed precipitation, rain, heavy rain and flash flooding, and severe thunderstorms. So, the yellow here is severe thunderstorms possible. That's for today. If we go to tomorrow, 
uh, again you can you can see that and then Saturday uh, do we do have that uh, severe if that is if it's marked out on severity it's at least going to be a slight and could be uh, it could even go enhanced on us so we will be watching that closely uh, again and uh, here let me go ahead and uh, switch this off again manually because there's a coding error yay that's just fun it's fun functional there got that done so current radar outlooks as of this time oh I should have seen that coming alright so uh, current outlooks as of this time in radar you can see that we do have lines of showers and thunderstorms here in the uh, the Lincoln area uh, as we speak why is it not locked up <laughs> Uh, and uh, the, the the line ahead of it is going to be more um, strong uh, but uh, if you, you can see that we do have some strong storms uh, with these storms uh, I would not rule out like even right here it does, we do have some hail uh, and now some of these the some of these are going to be radar glitches not all of them are um, actual at this time but uh this radar is uh pretty advanced uh so i wouldn't say that a lot of these are fake i would say like maybe one or two of these are just um accidental like it misread something or something but most of these are real uh things like right, right now like uh this this storm is marked as strong this storm's hail uh so yeah especially where you see that heavy precipitation you can tell uh, like okay yeah that that right like right here see how it's red that's that's heavy up here you can see the you can see the uh, key up here uh, that is heavy rain so we can tell that that's a strong storm but you can't really tell if that's hail or not on uh, the uh, re reflectivity and uh, that's another thing like with rotations you can't really see if it's uh, a rotation just by looking at reflectivity uh, you need uh, the velocity radar to uh, detect rotations like that, which you cannot see that on this on this one, uh, this current model that I have up. But I can uh, I can I do it on streams all the time. I have the separate velocity on a on a different radar app because Radar Scope does not uh, like to use that. But uh, yeah, that's the current conditions as of this time. We can go ahead and uh, shut this off here. Um, but yeah, that was just a quick weather update that we wanted to bring to you uh, about uh, stuff like that. Uh, the weather information, the severe weather upcoming, uh, stuff like that. And uh, if you want to go check out the other video, it should be appearing in the button. Uh, it should be appearing on the buttons uh, that appear on the outro. Uh, and yes, we have a new outro. Uh, that should be at the end here uh, really quick. Um, but yeah, if you want to go check that out. Uh, that should be coming up here in a few minutes. Uh, it does give some information about the what we're going to do in the next uh, school year as well. Uh, what's the plan? Uh, I'm going to tell you we're not going to be posting nearly as much. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I don't even think at all. Um, so, yeah. Go check, out, uh, go check out that video for the full information on that one. And uh, I'm Chief Meteorologist Caleb Beesing. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice night.